Parsha Vayishlach 5783. Hashem entering Parashat Vayishlach. Vayvater Yaakov levado, vayyavek ishimo, adalot alot hashacha, adalot hashacha. So we get to the tremendous pasuk of Vayvater Yaakov levado, and he's left alone. And on one side, he has all his family, all his property. But he's left in this scary state all by himself. And in that situation, he fights with the angel. And when he fights with the angel, he gets his name changed. Right? In a, in a very difficult story. Uh, not easy to understand why he holds on to the angel and tells him to give him a bracha. And what exactly it means that he asks him for a name, a lot of deep, deep ideas that are going on in that story. But the Svat Ahmed in the year 1876, he says sentence that the Jewish people were Zoha to two names, the name of Yaakov and the name of Israel. And I think that when he says that we're Zoha in both these names, there's a need to really analyze the difference between the two names and to understand the greatness of what the Sfat Emet is teaching. So we know in Masachat Brachot, Daf Yud Gimel, they speak about the name change of Avram, Sarah, and Yaakov. Right? Obviously Yitzchak is the one forefather that's name doesn't change, and that defines his character. But with Avram, it changes from Avram to Avraham, Sarai to Sarah, Yaakov to Israel. And says the Gemara, that anyone who calls Avraham, Avram, it's a sin. And if you call Sarah, Sarai, it's a sin, meaning their name has forever flipped. They are not anymore what they used to be. It's a total transformation. But Yaakov is different because obviously in the Torah we see that after his name changes, they still call him Yaakov. And so it's obvious that there's a difference between Yaakov and all the other name changes. The other name changes are you used to be X, now it's erased, and you're a new identity. But with Yaakov, it's not like that. Yaakov, his change is an addition, but it's not a transformation. And to Baruch Hashem, I was trying to understand this Gemara together with Moreno Rabbeinu, Rabbi Yoshua Kashton, and uh, he said that there's very different between these two different name changes. That the Avraham is that the four letters that were there are still there, but we add a hey, but that addition means that we're canceling the first name. With Sarai, we're adding a hey, we're canceling Sarai. Whereas with Yaakov, the, the first and the second name have nothing to do with each other. They're totally different from each other. And because of that, they're really not canceling the first name, but they're adding to the first name. So when we change the name of Abraham and Sarah, we're saying that the idea is that they are letting go of their past. And that's one type of change that many of us need to develop. And we need to learn and develop this idea that there's something called Sitra Akhra, the other side, other side meaning it's a bad side, it's a negative side, and to know to cut it off, to amputate it, to not play games, to not convince ourselves that it's okay for us to also be X and also be Y. No, you cannot be Y if you're still X, right? Meaning that you need to negate the Avram, negate the Sarai, negate the cell phone, or at least the areas in your life that you're supposed to be interacting with people, that it's in your life. Why is it there? It needs to be a way. And we can't play games and convince ourselves that it's okay if it's in our pocket, if it's, if it's off. No, you have to know to identify that there are certain areas that if you're associated with, there is no way to grow. That is the number one relationship of Avram and Sarah teaching us if you're in Haran, you're not in Eretz Yisrael, right? 
teaching us that if you're associated with X, you cannot be part of Y. And we need to know red lights. There's certain things to separate from. But Yaakov is, is, is a new level. Once you know Sitra Akhra, once you know what to separate from, then you need to learn the beauty of Klipat Noga. Klipat Noga, right, in the week that we're going into Yad Kislev, is where we speak about things that could be used in both ways, that they're not in their essence negative, that they're, 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 they're Noga, they're, they have a spark in them, and they could become a very negative fire, and they could become a beautiful fire, but that they have potential. And the idea of Yaakov Avinu is that he started as Yaakov and he continued as Israel, but he was not willing to remove the Yaakov. He was, he was demanding of us to understand that there's areas in us that are difficult. The Yaakov is difficult. It's leha'avek to fight and, 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 and to be in the avak and to fight with Esav. And, and to be the akev, the heel, the bottom. But all of those things we have to realize once we've learned the red lights of Avram and Sarai and we've moved them, so now the negative is not anymore something we can't deal with, that we can't elevate. And a lot of times we, we're, we don't realize this idea of klipat noga. That the klipat noga is saying that now that you've learned what's not allowed, don't think that everything is not allowed. That's the danger of what happens when we cut out things. That we think we have to cut out everything. And there are certain elements that can be elevated and they don't have to be removed. And that's the lesson of Yaakov. That yes, we want to be Israel. And we want to be Yashar El. Go all the way up to Hashem. And we want to be Sarbidai Melokim Vanashim Vatuchal. That we can succeed. We have success stories. But the danger of those successes is that we don't realize that it's okay to also be Yaakov. It's okay to also be someone that's not perfect. Someone that, that didn't get the bracha at the beginning, that didn't get the bachora at the beginning, that was levado. Vayibater Yaakov levado. Don't let go of that. Just because you're succeeding in your Israel doesn't mean that you could just forget about the needs to develop your own personal growth, your own personal world. And so I think that the message teaching us is that there's two types of growth that we need. The first type of growth is to know what's not allowed. That's the red lights. But then we need to know that once we've learned that, that not everything is green and red. There's also yellow. There are things that can be taken both ways. And we don't have to cut out the Yaakov. We have to learn how to deal with it, how to live with it, and not just use the Israel to diminish the Yaakov, because now we could use both. And we could use both sides, the low side, the Akev, the heel, and the Yashar on the high side, and we're not only perfect, we're also imperfect, we're not only complete, we're also incomplete, we're not only the people that associate with the big, with the great, with the Sarita, with the fighting, with the success, we're also normal, and we're, it's okay for us to be in both.